Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday morning. We're gonna do my Leos. Um, <clears throat> I was the. I'm just gonna say the Ace of Coin kept popping out. Okay. <clears throat> I put it back. <clears throat> Leos. So this is gonna be in November 2019. Next two weeks. Justice. My Leos. My Leos. You're going to have to make some type of karmic decision. Nine of coin, doing it with confidence. Feeling good about yourself. While well, they keep falling in the same direction. You got the ten of swords and the ten of coin. So you got ten ten. Somebody else had ten ten. <clears throat> I can't remember who had the dang ten ten. I think it was Taurus. Okay, so, and the Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, there's some type of link to Taurus. You might want to watch Taurus. Some type of karmic justice. This is moving forward. This is feeling independent. You do feel stabbed in the back about some type of situation, or you feel like you got to stab someone in the back for a year, for a year independence. I'm not really sure how that works or is working for you per se right now, but... With the Ten of Coin, this is some type of foundation. Um, it's either work or a home life. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about justice. I feel like the wheel goes round and round. I believe that's a pheasant. <clears throat> I believe. I believe I can fly. That is a pheasant and it's standing out to me. So hold on. Hold on. The animal symbolizes seduction, fertility, passion, attraction. You're feeling more seductive. It's raw energy. See the work of play. <laughs> and I just I just said that. That's great. Okay, so confirmation. <clears throat> so tell me about justice. There's some type of coding. I don't know what that means. I, I feel like it's more of a coding, not like something for you to figure out like in codes, not like Morse code, nothing like that. It's a coding like, <clears throat> like wax. I don't know what that's regarding. <clears throat> Sticky, you know, I just saw a candy apple too. You dunk it in something, it's a coding. So I'm not really sure what that's in reference to. Tell me about justice. Leo, next two weeks, November 2019, Justice. Got the four coin. I just heard, hold on for one more day. I know that there is pain, but I hold on for one more day. And I break through, break through the chains. Someday somebody's going to turn around and say goodbye. Okay. It's... You need to let go of something. There, There's a karmic course that has been ran. Okay. Um, <clears throat> got the Ace of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. So it's... There's just something in your life that doesn't bring you that... That passion that you're going towards with this pheasant. Okay. So there's some type of karmic course that's ran its course. Tell me about the nine of coin. I'm hearing Capricorn, which is ironic because I didn't do Capricorn yet. So you might want to check out Capricorn. I don't know what that's regarding. Okay, so you got the you got three cards. You got the ten of cups. 
you got the emperor and you got the page of cups so you do have feelings you do have passion you you do have an, a new direction there is something that fulfills you that you want to go towards um so it looks like right now you guys are in libra energy aries energy um there's something that you want to pursue <clears throat> tell me about the ten of swords <clears throat> Either you feel stabbed in the back or somebody is going to feel stabbed in the back. It's it's something like that. It's over, though. You have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Coin. So the, there's some type of commitment that... It's like betrayal. I think that has to do with whatever has ran its course. But you are being positive about the situation because you're looking at a, a new type of foundation in a different in a different light. Tell me about the ten of coin. So it's not like there's I don't see depression. I don't see it's just something in its course. You do see something clear. It looks like there's some type of commitment that, that ran its course, you know, to a coin. So you're just, you're still juggling your decision. And it does have to do with a foundation. Okay. The Queen of Wands is under the deck too. So I don't know. You got the world. I really, you know, you might be holding on to something that's no longer alive. Over here, you actually could be dealing with a Libra, and it's ran its course. Tell me about um. Tell me about the tool coin real quick. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You do have, with the two of coin here, whatever this is, the the juggling going back and forth, it's it's a judgment call, okay? Um, you got the sun judgment and the nine of cups. So the nine of cups and the sun is, is happy. It's contentment. There's growth. It's, it's two of the happiest cards in the deck. It's, it's pretty much on you what direction you're going to choose. And... It looks like what you got. It looks like um, I just saw the number eight speaks of harmony, but it, it looks happy. It's 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 your judgment call. You got to make a decision. You need to make a, a call about a new foundation and, and go towards your happy. There's definitely procrastination here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. King of Wands came out with the Four of Swords. So you, you're just, you're, it's just, are you going to take a leap of faith? Because this reminds me of like a leap of faith with the King of Wands. It's like you're, you're halfway, it's up in the air. The judgment call, okay? Something's guided. You got a little bird here, okay? A situation will heal. Try to stay as positive as you can about this situation. Um, tell me about the the Libra real quick. Justice. You could I, I said tell me about the Libra. So you actually could be dealing with the Libra. And it's ironic because the Libra video is called um, it's gonna be your call. Okay, so three of wands, it's like you put something on hold, it's it's push pull, you you're kinda just like what do I do? All right, so something has come to the end of of something, okay? Something has ran its course, um, so you're going to have decisions to make. It looks like you have a beautiful outcome when it comes to whatever direction you choose. It's, it's gaining that independence that right now you're seeking, but in between, you know, it's either betrayal or 
someone feels stabbed in the back, vice versa, but it's like taking that leap. <clears throat> it looks guided. Um, and you're juggling whether or not to to resurrect something. But you got the happiest cards. What is that about? You got the happiest cards in the deck. Okay. An alarm just went off. I don't know if you're going to have an epiphany. I don't know what that's all about, but... It looks great. If you guys want further insight, there's links below in the description box for personal readings. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.